welcome back to another video because today I'm doing a quick video. Well, first of all, hold up before I get into that. If you're new to this channel, you should like, you know, um, what's that word called again? Yeah, you should subscribe, like, comment. And share because I'm gonna just keep uploading videos for y'all and that's on that and if you're new to this channel I'm the dope K Jules and people call me K Jules so that's my name and today we're gonna be doing unpopular opinions but fashion edition so this is the first one that came to my mind because i don't know why but if you know me if you follow me on the medias back in 2016 2017 if you knew me like well if you know me whatever same thing but it's true now I'm a different me so you probably don't know me now if you did know me alright anyways but like Off-White used to be my favorite brand like I will post on Snapchat 24 7 about Off-White like dead serious like I was a fiend okay like I love streetwear so that was one of my favorite brands but now, like, it's still cool, but I just don't feel how I used to be. But this one shirt that I just, it's not that I don't like it, but it's like the way, bro, like, especially the boys, they will, like, y'all, bro, like, I don't know, like, y'all wear this shirt right here, and it just don't be looking right, like, shirt sweater whatever long sleeve and it just don't look good because first of all i don't know i never never ever seen them sell they have the stripes but i never seen them so like it looked like no offense like clothes is clothes and who really cares like where would you want but like when i started seeing mad people and then they would brag about it like yo nah this is the official one bro what is that like it's just that one particular shirt that i just don't like and then they just be flexing it like nah no now the next thing that that's in my opinion yo platform chuck converse are fire i don't care what nobody says bro converse chucks taylors bro they're fire like Especially the new ones now, like, y'all can't even, she ain't gonna sit here and lie to me and tell me they're not fire. Alright, cool, 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 cool. And then, alright, so, fanny packs, right? Like, now it's a new style, so, like, why do some people still wear their fanny packs? Like, nah, nah. You gotta put it across your chest. Like, fanny packs belong across your chest. That's how you rock it. And then, yeah, like, I feel like, you know, that's where it belongs, across your chest. Another thing is, yo, I don't know if it's just me, but, like, 
that have a sweater is what I'm talking about too. But honestly, I think that was just a warm up. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and talk from the top of my head. So boom, right? Like I said before earlier, oops, piercing almost came out. I need a new one. I need, like I said earlier, right? So if you're from New York, obviously I'm from New York. I got this um subscribe. Anyways, <laughs> obviously I'm from New York. If you're from New York, you know that cloud chasing is a really big thing. Like sometimes people chase certain clothing or whatever for the clout attention because they're hungry and that's basically it so a lot of people be like oh you know just because you're dressed up and you're dripped down in designer that the, that makes you drip god so boom right i agree total percent all the way i agree with that because some people could be dressed in designer and it's not even a good fit like what are you doing bro you got on all these designer clothes but it don't look good like and style isn't the brand like it's the style how you wear it how you put it together like designer ain't always just that so right during this pandemic i found mad black owned businesses that's fire, dope, great clothing, great quality, like, and it's, <laughs> shoot, it's not even designer, and it look good, like, I feel like that's a big thing, like, so, if you feel like you gotta dress up, or whatever to get attention, there's mad people out here dressing, not even in designer, and they got drip, like, to me, if you got a valid ass fit on and it's, and it's not it's just regular clothing brands like H&M, Zara um what else I don't know y'all know them but like you know if you wear that I feel like that's drip like if it's a valid fit that's drip to me so and look, this one right here is a very, 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 I know this is going to be a very unpopular opinion, but like when I say this, like some of y'all going to really feel me. So like, you know the hood, like New York period, like once everybody gets a hold of something, it just becomes corny. Like everyone is just like, now it, that's how the trend just goes away mad fast. Like it just died out. Like, sometimes people really be doing too much. Like, y'all be doing really the most. And don't get me wrong. High fashion is always going to be, like, up there. Like, it's never going to be outplayed. Never. Like, y'all know the original, like, the most popular brands. Like, don't get me wrong. I love expensive stuff. Like, I do own a couple of you know good brands and stuff because who wouldn't want that like it's valid but i don't dress every trend that comes out like i feel like it really be dragged like sometimes i be wanting to buy something I'm like not everyone got it now like and it's just corny because then it's like now i feel like i'm gonna just be repeating that over and over just like how, how everybody else is repeating it over and over so i'm just like nah but I can't do it because, like, gotta be unique, man. So, that's why it'd be lit to come up with your own stuff. Um, another good one for me is probably gonna be unpopular too. But,. Jeans that are distressed. I don't care. I would wear those every single day. Every day. Okay. I would wear those jeans every day. 
distressed jeans is the best like what but like it really be ruining like the excitement of it the uniqueness of it but you can't even go wrong because if something is hot everybody's gonna want it everybody's gonna wear it so i'm chatting right now but like it's still an popular opinion like for example because y'all already know like everybody got these everybody got these everybody got these and i got them too because um i like the color gray and it's valid and i was supporting a business so why not right and they're comfortable and i don't wear them all the time with everything i wear see that's the thing but these first lines everyone got them but guess what of course it um got it's gonna get out of style and of course it's annoying to everybody it's annoying to me too but it's not too annoying to me because i don't wear it with everything every day balance it out but when like i said if something is hot everybody's gonna want it everybody's gonna wear it simple because Yo, it's either drip or drown. I don't care. Like, I be going to school with fits on, but it don't be, it don't even be all that, but I just really be, like, yo. That, it be a whole fashion show for me on my own. Like, I be dressing for myself. That's it, like, you gotta be, you know how it is, bro, when you just gotta be pretty and fly? Like, that's it. The heck? So now. Hold up, girl. Back up. Why are you so close? But this is another one, too. Like, everyone used to tell me before, especially like middle school or like, you know, mad young. You should be a model, you should be a model, you should be a model. But now here's the thing with that. It's like, they have, yo, the fashion industry has very high standards. And sometimes it can separate the community. So it's like, I used to be like, agree and all that until I realized how hard it is to get into that. Like, but you could do anything like, put your mind to and stuff but like this is just what someone said and so it's an unpopular opinion so i'm putting it out there right here yeah you watching me right yeah so and especially like with the um african-american people black people like it's very demographic how they put it into categories so it's really hard so that's another very unpopular opinion. Like, I really agree with that. And I'm mad short. I can't I can be no longer. Like, why? I'm not even 5'5". Five five. <laughs> okay. Because I know I'm not the only one that thinks, well, in my opinion, that is very height biased. Like, your height. Like, it really is, though. Like, it's very height biased. And the reason why I say that is because us short people isn't going to get, like, the same opportunity as, like, a tall, tall, really tall person. So, let me just say this. If you think about starting your own business something, like, for modeling or whatever, include us short people because we really need it. Like, it would be cool if short people wasn't cool. Now they're making that more like they're um they're putting more people that short tall. You know what I'm trying to say. Like they're including us. Another one. Certain pieces are, are like it's like really unnecessary for the price that it be mad expensive. Like. Oh, this is a good example right here. This right here 
it's no reason why that shirt cost that much when it came out like do you know i can make that myself i could get a shirt and cut holes in it myself like that was just so unnecessary but you know like see that's what i mean like it separates the people that do have it and then that don't but you know like if you got it um yeah buy it but like certain clothes like yo for real for real the price be mad necessary and then how you gonna put your clothes this price and the quality is just bad and then it don't last long like you see that's how you gotta do it like when you buy stuff you gotta see like alright so how long I think this is gonna last me for like unique glow bro if y'all know that Japanese store in the city Uniqlo well if you don't I just put you on cause I got a pair of jeans from there and good price too good price and you can tell like they last long they're comfy they're stretchy it's good quality like all that like see like stuff like that but if you sell me some slacks for a thousand dollars and above and it's bad why did you put it that price so that's why we gotta support some more black owned businesses cause it's a lot of them coming up but I will say this the new ones that are like coming up with the like you know the clothes and everything the price is very affordable I mean not affordable like it's um it's understandable because sometimes people now are sewing their own clothes so that's handmade like I would put a good price for that too I wouldn't just be like oh this is five dollars no 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 because that's your craft your work and you put that into detail like they're gonna pay for what you did like i you're gonna appreciate it so that's very like that's understandable but like you know these celebrities y'all know what i mean like it's just very unnecessary might as well just sell it to the ones the peers around you because um yeah but yeah i'm gonna wrap this up by just saying like the names is just a very cultural thing like it's really normal to like all of these things it really is but like i said i said what i said and this is just an opinion like it's not that serious so i hope that none of you guys really got like offended or like this rubbed you off if it did i apologize in advance before you start cursing me out like right now and if you like this video and you want a part two, like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Hey.